Yesterday, we did a video on the secret covenant, basically guidelines by which these elite people swear by. Those in control of this planet are in a group and there's a lot of these people, guys, just millions of them in the United States continuing this facade, creating this illusion to control the majority of the population. Uh, so we're going to go over that covenant specifically point by point and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on each of those points. An illusion it will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. They'll basically create reality as it is. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane, like myself, like the people that are trying to wake everyone else up as everyone is brainwashed by the mainstream media. And they're calling everyone who is against the mainstream media a crazy person, a conspiracy theorist. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. They're very sneaky. They know exactly what they're doing. They have multiple mechanisms and cogs in the machine. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. A good example of this is the carnivores and the vegans. Both of them are trying to poison you in their own way. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time, so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur, gradually introducing things, predictive programming. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolutes. These people are very intelligent. Uh, they have secrets that they have shared throughout their families that they use to control us. Things that I know are important, you know, the things I teach on my YouTube channel related to lifestyle and diet are a part of this. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. Uh, so for those of you wondering why these other YouTube channels don't speak about this stuff, Death will come to he who speaks, will remain bound by blood and secrecy. These people literally swore a blood oath to each other. They will lie until they are put in the grave. That's something you guys have to understand. All of these people that are against me, that are harassing me, these gang stalkers, they are in a club bound by blood. They will do whatever it takes to take me down to keep their truth. They will never admit it. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. You guys might have heard in the news that, oh, life expectations are at an all-time high, the life expectancy is longer than ever. That's absolutely not true. There's actually more death and disease than there was 40, 50 years ago, but they're pretending to do the opposite and they've tricked us. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they will never see what is happening. I mean, disguising, you know, antennas and military weaponry as cell towers and uh, uh, LED lights, that's part of that. But, you know, they're spraying stuff in the sky saying it's, you know, water vapor from the planes. They have a bunch of different ways that they are manipulating us. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. Uh, so aluminum is a big one. You know, people always cook with aluminum, aluminum foil, aluminum baking tins, mercury in teeth. They're polluting the food and water supply and the air to make us sick. You know, almost everyone is aluminum toxic. It's in deodorant, it's in cosmetic products. Every single product that the standard American uses is poison. They will be blanketed in poison everywhere they turn. Yup, I see my father every day, I see my mother every day. They're poisoning themselves and they're convinced that it's okay and it's normal. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. My father, who's been poisoning himself for dozens of years, goes to doctors, goes to psychiatrists, they give him more poison, and his mental state continues to deteriorate. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. If you guys look up miscarriage statistics, they're very hard to find, but I, I've covered them in some past videos. If you guys watch uh, my past videos on pregnancy and fertility and breastfeeding, I've covered how miscarriage statistics are going up and up and up. And, uh, you know, our grandparents used to have, you know, 10, 15, 20 kids, and we can't even have one. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. You know, I've done many videos on water. I've done videos on the poison in conventional feedlot meats. 
Uh, I haven't done too much on air pollution and, uh, and clothing, but uh, that's definitely something that should be touched on. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons for they can see far. Uh, I mean, I don't think they're particularly ingenious because they put the poisons in everything. I think everyone is just so stupid uh, that they don't realize what's going on. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. I think fluoride's a good example of this. Uh, there's probably a couple of other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head. I mean, the injections, of course, are something people think is good for them. People think medicines, antibiotics are good for them. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. Doctors. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. Uh, this brings AirPods to mind. Uh, I mean, there's dozens and dozens of different products that they use in TV shows, but AirPods is definitely, you know, something lately. It's basically microwaving your brain. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it is for their health. We know the V word. We know what they're injecting into kids and people think it's good for them, unfortunately. We will start early on, when their minds are young. We will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. Soft metals, mercury, lead, aluminum, literally poison and destroy cells. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. Big Pharma, medical establishment, doctors, we know that very well. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. They've poisoned you, they've made you fat, sick and unhealthy. And if you go to doctors, if you go to hospitals, they're gonna either make you very sick or kill you. We will focus their attention towards money and material goods so that the many may never connect with their inner self. Uh, you know, making people materialistic, focused on the rat race, doesn't get people to believe in and focus on what they truly want in this world. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, and games so that they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. Uh, you know, the mind control operation that the modern media is doing. You know, the radio wave technology. Uh, basically, the people that are opposing, they're using disinformation campaigns. They're trying everything they can to keep control. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. Divide and conquer. We shouldn't be fighting amongst each other, we should be fighting them. But they've done a very good job, even with the masks. If you go outside with a mask, everyone attacks you. It's ridiculous. We will always hide our objective, but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us, and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always, for it is the way. Uh, so these crazy lunatics believe they are direct descendants of uh, Satan, basically. And uh, they don't want to mix with the average person. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. You know, there might be some craziness happening later this year. People fighting over food, famine, who knows. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. Again, divide and conquer. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. You know, every single company, every single business, for the most part on a large scale corporation is owned by these satanic people, whether it's McDonald's or any food chain, and they are all working together to poison us. We will guide them kindly and let them think they are guiding themselves. It's funny, my dad watches the news all day and he's like, I'll believe what I believe and you can believe what you believe. And I just laugh in his face. We will foment animosity between them through our factions. Again, divide and conquer. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. Uh, so you guys have seen me ridiculed when I have tried to expose them, expose what they're doing, and they have attacked me and gang stalked me. Uh, that's very, very apparent. And I think anyone with an IQ above 100 would recognize that. That's not on their side. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. So, you know, with what's going on in the world right now, when someone goes out without a mask, when someone 
you know, buys too much food, buys too much toilet paper, that's an example of them creating fear and animosity and it's very easy for them to do. The hate will blind them totally and never shall they see that from their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We know what's happened with wars in the past. Every war has been started by a particular group of people uh, to make that group more and more wealthy. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. I mean, social media is a great example of this. Any job, anything that people work, setting up Wi-Fi infrastructure, cellular infrastructure, anything involved with communicating with other people can be used in a divide and conquer kind of way. We will always hide the divine truth from them, that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think they are not equal. Black versus white, man versus woman, adult versus child, you know, country versus country, whatever it may be, those beliefs are present basically everywhere. No one likes outsiders. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. I mean, they crashed the stock market, we lost our savings, we lost our well-being, we lost our jobs, and the Fed buys up everything. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they will have. Happening right now, Patriot Act, happened years ago. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. <laughs> we see that happening all the time with these protests. Anytime someone protests, they're arrested, they're thrown in the crazy bin. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. I went out to film the empty hospitals and it's absolutely insane. New York City, how many people are in New York City? 11, 13, 15 million? The hospitals were empty. No one checked besides me. And I don't even live in the city anymore. No one checked. Everyone's millions and millions and millions of people locked in their apartments watching TV, scared shitless. And I drive down there and I check that the hospitals are empty. You would think if people had an IQ above 40, they would go outside and see the hospitals were empty. It's ridiculous how, the control, how strong the control of the media is. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they will have no weapons. Well, that's not exactly true yet, but uh, you can see what they believe in. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not of us. So you millions and millions of people who are not direct descendants of you know, the bloodline of Satan, uh, you guys might want to stop helping them because they're going to throw you in the dish with the rest of us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. And this is a lot of these YouTube shills, all of these people right now. They think they're part of the club, but they're actually not. They're just doing the, the work for them. They must never learn this truth, for they will turn against us. What I just said. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles. But never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. Uh, so these satanic crazies aren't going to receive that either, but... Uh, this basically means that by selling your soul to these people, you're rewarded, you know, wealth, fame, whatever you may want. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. The Wi-Fi, having a phone with the new Wi-Fi technology, the phone's right in your face, and you're not realizing it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin.
Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have established from time immemorial. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are and they will hunt us down and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives. For this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood, we the ones who from heaven to earth came. This covenant must never, ever be known to exist. So much for that. It must never, ever be written or spoken of, for it is the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the prime creator upon us, and we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of time of infinity itself. Uh, so this basically means, uh, you know, we have to not play their game. Us as, you know, a, a world of people have to work together. And, and honestly, you know, when I talk about indigenous people, when I talk about diets, when I talk about native people and how we're supposed to live, you know, that's kind of how I envision the world has to be. You can't play their game. You have to live on your own, be self-sustainable, have a happy, healthy life and family away from material things. The only things in your life are the necessities, the food, the shelter, you know, the happiness of the community. You know, the, in Weston Price's book, The Swiss of the La Cento Valley, I think of that as a, you know, a very happy and ideal community. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's very hard to wake people up from this. And a lot of you guys are, you know, pushing Christianity, pushing the Bible. But, you know, these people have ruled the planet for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. They wrote the Bible. And the purpose of the Bible is for you to believe in it and to give up your free will. This is the key here. If you give up your free will and you accept what's going to happen, that is the worst thing that you can do. So what you guys have to envision and what you guys have to focus on is having a happy reality. If you want to be, uh, I don't know, think of something you want in your life and, and imagine that happening. And anytime you think of something negative or anytime you think of something not ideal or, or you find your focus becomes astray and you start worrying about certain things, create a very strong vision, a very strong thing that you want to happen you know, whether it's, you know, a perfect happy world, whether you have a beautiful family, you know, whether you're, you know, married to the hottest chick from your high school, whatever it may be, create a happy vision, something that you can truly believe in, something that you want to make happen. And anytime you think of this fearful stuff, anytime you've ever gone astray, think of that positive. You have to understand that these people in control of this world, they have nothing special. They are the same as us. You can do anything they are doing if you believe in it hard enough. So I thought I would do this just to give my thoughts on that. Uh, yesterday, a lot of you guys had questions about it and honestly, the main thing was that Bible stuff at the end. I, I'm really getting aggravated at you Bible pushers as uh, you're, you're kind of just as brainwashed as everyone else. Uh, so uh, of course, if you guys could please, uh, you know, check out the stuff down in the comments below. You know, you can support me on Frankie's Free Range Meat, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, all that stuff. Uh, we did uh, live stream yesterday if you guys want to check that out on the channel Frank Tufano and we'll be doing another video tomorrow as usual as well as another live stream uh, So you guys enjoy the rest of your day